Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Four months ago, I published an article on Medium regarding how I keep track of books in Obsidian. People liked this solution and someone asked for a YouTube video, so I thought it was time to do that. But before we get into the nitty gritty of Obsidian, let's talk about why it's important to keep track of books. As a productivity and PKM consultant, I can't stress this enough. Books are treasure troves of knowledge. And tracking them is like building your personal library of wisdom. First, knowledge accumulation. Books are a source of valuable insights, information, and ideas. And when you read a book and track it, you are essentially preserving that knowledge for future reference. Second, citation and attribution. Tracking books helps you cite sources accurately in your research or writing. And it's not just about giving credit, it's about maintaining intellectual integrity. And last but not least, personal growth. Keeping tabs on the books you read allows you to reflect on your personal growth journey. And you can see how your reading choices evolve over time. But now, after this introduction, let's get down to the practical side of things. How to keep track of books in Obsidian. First of all, we have to install three community plugins. So we go to settings, community plugins, browse. And the first one is templater that I already have installed. The second one is book search, install and enable. And the third one is projects, install and enable. Now let's start by creating the template that we will use for our book notes. And if this is the first time you see Templator, I suggest to watch my video about that. I will leave the link in the description down below. So inside my templates folder, I create a note and I can call it book template. Inside the template, I want to write some properties and I cover the Obsidian properties in another video and you will also find the link in the description down below. But this time I want to use a little hack, the hack looks like this. I discovered this thanks to an article written by TFT Hacker on Medium. I will leave the link in the description down below. And this hack prevents Obsidian from detecting metadata in a template. You can do that by simply enclosing the front matter metadata with a classic three dashes, but this time inside the templater commands less than and percentage sign and percentage sign and greater than. Now in my book note, I want a tags field and I can use the book tag. I want to see the title of the book. So title field and we use this syntax here. Then I want the author field and we can use this syntax here author okay then i want to see the publish date so we can use the publish field here with the syntax publish date and then we want a cover for our book and we can use this one here now the title the author the publish and the cover fields will be filled in automatically thanks to the book search plugin. And lastly, I just add another field called status and I set these as unread by default. I set the status field to unread because I usually add a book that I want to read and I will change the status to read once I've finished to read the book. After the YAML section, I add a cover markup by writing this syntax. And lastly, the H1 heading that will be like this. So the H1 heading will be the title of the book. So the template is finished and now we can set the book search community plugin, but first, I want to create a folder for my book notes. I already have one here in my resources folder and I called it books. 
Now let's open the book search options. Okay, and here we can choose the folder for the book notes. And for me will be my books folder. Here you can choose the file name format. And I like to use the title of the book. And here you can specify the template to use for your notes. And for me is the book template here. And you are good to go. Now let's see if it works. To search a book, you just need to open your command palette with Ctrl P or Command P and search for book search, create a new book note, or you can simply click here on the book icon on the left. In the search bar, you just need to write the book you're looking for, click on search and select the book. So let's try with getting things done. Here we go. You have your note here and the note is inside the book folder. And as you can see, you have the title here, the author, you have the publish date and you have a nice cover. Now let's add some other books. For example, we can add the seven habits of highly effective people. We can add building a second brain. Okay. We can add uh, the diary of a CEO. Okay. And now we have our books in our folder. So now we can just jump to the projects plugin and create our gallery view. So to open the projects plugin, you just need to click here on open projects on the left. And I must say that I really love this plugin because it allows you to manage projects or keep track and visualize your notes by using table, calendar, board, and gallery views. In this video, we will take a look at the gallery view, but in the future, I will make some videos to show you how I use this amazing plugin. Now, first of all, we just need to create a new project. Let's give it a name so we can name it library and here you can choose how you want to define which notes to include. In this case, we choose folder because we created the, the book folder before. And here we write the path to the folder we want to use. In my case is resources and books. You can include subfolders, but this is not the case. And here you have more settings, but we don't need them right now. So create a project. Now the plugin by default will create a table view, okay? But we just want a gallery view. So to change or to add a view, you just need to click here on the plus button and you choose the gallery view and you can name it like books and add view. Okay, of course, we just need to make some adjustments. First of all, we need to fix the cover. And to do that, we just need to select the property name cover here. And we see something, okay? But we just need to fix how they look. And to do so, you just need to click here and click on fit image. Now it's way better. Here you can choose the properties that you want to show in your cards. So for example, you want to show the author, and you want to show the status. And here you can set a different width for your cards, for example, 230 pixels. And here we go. Now you have a personal library inside Obsidian. Keeping track of books in Obsidian, it's not just about organization. It's about nurturing your personal knowledge garden. Remember, knowledge is power, and Obsidian is your tool to harness it effectively. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of knowledge management. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium. And if you want to improve your productivity and PKM, try the Paperless Movement iCore course. You can have a three day trial if you sign up through my iCore expert page. You will find all the links in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.